Hi everyone. So what we're going to do today is create a template for this little mini CD sleeve and then we're going to decorate it. What we need is some scissors, packaging, um, I used a piece of paper and just some glue. And then after we're done creating the template, I'm going to go ahead and download it into my brand new Kofi shop, just in case you don't have a mini CD sleeve that you can trace and recreate. So let's get started. We're gonna open this up. And we can always glue it back together if we wanna reuse it. So what we need to do is just worry about the shape staying pretty good. So let's go ahead and cut that off so it's nice and straight. Yeah, I personally do not have a lot of these and I didn't want to buy a hundred of them. So this has been on my list of things to do is just to create templates for the things that I really love. You can also create a template for little envelopes or anything that you have don't have a lot of or maybe they don't sell in stores anymore. So you just have to take it apart first. And we're gonna trace it real quick. Whoops. I'm gonna keep that. I like to use this pencil because it has a very nice point to it. And you can trace this onto scrapbooking paper that you love so it already has a design on it. And you just cut it out and then re-glue it. And then just decorate it. It doesn't really have to be perfect. It's junk journaling. Almost done here. Good. Okay. So then we're going to start cutting. So you have your template here. You can copy it on your printer, save it to your computer. Just so you don't have to keep making one. So I want to thank everyone for joining my channel and subscribing. Really means a lot. And we can learn together. This journaling, junk journaling is so much fun. Okay, so here we go. For the inside, I think I'm going to use my little scissors because I find that little scissors work a lot better for things like this and just fussy cutting. They just do a much better job. Oh, 
I'm just trying to go real quick so I can just show you guys. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be okay. So we're just going to erase the little pencil marks, if there's any. Okay, and then what I want to do, you can spray paint on it if you want to make it look real cool. I want to stamp on it. So I got this really neat stamp I found. I think it's a really pretty pattern. I didn't get to use it yet. So let's see. We're just gonna decorate it. Hopefully it works. If not, no big deal. If, if all the designs don't come through. I think it's still gonna have a pretty image. So what I don't have is a flat surface here. That's my mistake. But just go ahead and make sure that you have one if you want the stamp to come out better. So we can always add a little bit more to it. And then these these side guys won't even show. It's all right. Whoops. Wasn't even paying attention if it was upside down or not. Okay, let's just go with it. It's okay. There we go. So then, um, we're gonna take this little one, and then we're gonna cut the same size piece out of this little packaging here. And then we're gonna use our, um, Fabri-Tac glue to glue it on. So right now there's two of them here. So let's cut it in half. Perfect. And let me get my glue going. really need to buy a new one. So then what you're gonna do is put the glue all around and make sure that you're, this is the inside of the envelope, not the outside. So you just gotta put it on there real quick. Set the cellophane back down. Coming out. So just for the purpose of showing you, I'm going to use a different glue that's not really going to work that well, but it's going to work temporarily, most likely. So we're just going to put it on right there. And then we're going to fold these over. Like this. Let's see if it's even. Looks pretty even. Then we're going to fold the other flaps down. So we're going to fold this one. So we, you can put glue here and then just glue it together like that. But I'm going to do it this way so these little flaps don't show. So we're going to take our glue. Put it on real good. And there you have it. 
your own little mini CD sleeve. How cute. I love these guys. I love decorating them. So let's go ahead and start decorating. They're not pretty cute. So just grab some scraps of paper. I found a few. I wanted to pick through and because I love the colors. So first decide how are you going to put this into your journal? Do you want it like this so it flips out open? Or do you want it like this so it flips up? And then start decorating. So I'm going to have mine like sideways. So the flaps over here. So we're just going to take Scraps of paper, have fun with it. Try not to think too much, but also you don't, you don't have to cover everything just so the designs still show. that off and just keep adding layers to it and see what happens I found this really cute image um, that I wanted to put inside so in order for it to fit we're gonna have to cut it down a little so sometimes I use my scissors sometimes I use my little cutting tool We can always go back and make it more perfect, but we're just going to add it on. Just, just add it in just so we can work with it already in there. I mean, how cute is that? I love that already. So let's see. I think I want to add some pink to it. What kind of pink scraps do we have here? Maybe some blue because those colors are already in the picture. some blue. I really love these. And I'm actually, um, I'll show you guys once we're done. I'm actually going to make a little a smaller version of the very first um, journal that I showed you guys because I thought that when I first started making that journal, I thought that three signatures would fit inside of it. And I was wrong. So we were only able to fit two signatures inside of it once I was done decorating all the pages. Well, that's kind of cute right there. But we're not done decorating yet either. So now I have a third extra signature. So I thought, well, why not show you guys how to make some of the ephemera for it? Because I really do want to finish it. So it doesn't just sit there. Because I really, I really loved creating the first one. So how cute is that? Maybe something up here. And I really love this little washi tape. Can't really see it. Let's stick it right there. Just 
for a little bit of a embellishment. And what else? Maybe something over here. But over here, what do we have? Oh, how about one of these? As I love texture, I love petting. Little lace pieces. Just gotta play with it and figure out what looks best. That's kinda cute. Coming together pretty nicely. So I wish my Fabri-Tac glue was um, working quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for the glue and then just edit right there. What else can we add to this? It looks, it's already looking pretty cute. I just love layers though. I love layers. At first it's kind of hard to get a hang of it, but don't give up. Keep trying. And they'll start looking better and better with every every try. So maybe right there. This is a great way to use up your little scraps just to and create, you know, decorate little envelopes. It's like a little bit of a collage. We got a little bit of collage going. Oh, okay. And the most important thing is just to have fun. with that and when how do you know when to stop that's sometimes hard part for some people but I try not to overdo it just Just do it, whatever makes your heart happy. Okay, let's see. That's pretty cute. How about a little piece of tatting right here somewhere? Let's do that. And it'll look real cute, maybe. Maybe right here. What do you guys think? Let's just go with it. like that and it's looking pretty cute maybe I'll go back and add more but I'm pretty happy with it right now maybe I'll add a little bit more over here make this cutie little flower or maybe a button Maybe a button. See, these ideas, they just come to me as I go. Maybe a button. And then, where's our uh, little pink? 
piece of cheesecloth underneath. Maybe, what do you guys think? Yeah, it needs something. So let's just go with the button. And how about a flower underneath the button? I like to, um, whoop. I like to have like a little bit of a color contrast when I create. Oh, that's cute. We don't, we don't need the cheesecloth. And my glue's working now, so that's good. And there we have it. Really cute decorated mini CD sleeve. And where I'm gonna put this, let me show you guys the signature that I'm working on. The third signature that would not fit that would not fit into this beauty right here. Here's one that I created for this one. So it's gonna, it flaps out like that. Here's our new one. And here's our third signature right here. It's just gonna be one journal because um, yeah, we, we learned that sometimes three is too much. So I'm gonna add this one right here. And as I create um, pages, I like to add, I like to go through all the pages and add, just place things where I feel like they look good. Just looking at the colors. So usually I clip everything in before I even glue it in. And then I work with it, decorating decorating all the pieces that I have clipped on. So these are not done yet. But I think this looks so cute here. And thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and try to upload uh, that template for anyone who doesn't have a CD sleeve. So they can just print it out, cut it out, and then just glue everything to it like I showed you. Everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you for watching.